Hey friends, tonight we are staying at an incredible Star Wars themed Airbnb just 10 miles away from Walt Disney World. Eight bedrooms and five bathrooms all separately themed to something in the Star Wars universe and it is amazing. I want to give you the full tour, show you all the cool effects and amazing Easter eggs and just have a beautiful Rebels Retreat kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. From the outside, it looks like just a regular Florida home, but trust me, once you go through those doors, you're definitely stepping into a whole new universe, and honestly, I was speechless looking at some of the rooms in here, and I can't wait to actually show you. I have stayed at a lot of different themed Airbnbs and vacation villas and I'm always impressed on how immersive they can actually be. So when you're here in Florida and you visit the parks and go to Galaxy's Edge, you leave and you actually continue on with the immersiveness going back to your vacation rental and it's so awesome. I'm going to go over all the details on how you can book this or if you're interested a little bit later on. On, but right now I just want to dive right on in and show you all the amazing things we're gonna start the tour right at the front entrance and let me tell you something you're gonna be blown away immediately look at this holy moly the blue lights the stormtroopers this is just the entryway all of the rooms are separately themed to something incredible and we're gonna go around each one and I'm gonna show you I'm sure some of you have heard of the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser at Walt Disney World, but let me tell you something. This is a fraction of the cost and it sleeps up to 16 guests. And like I said, the theming and immersiveness is so awesome. And the best part about it is you can do whatever you want. You know what I mean? You can explore, sleep in different bedrooms. There's eight bedrooms and it's just a fun time. There are tons of activations all around the house. So as you walk around, lights will turn on. You can hear some sounds. And this is the front entryway that we just came in. And I want to show you there's two bedrooms down here and a game room. And we're going to start off with one bedroom over here because we are talking about the Galactic Star Cruiser. Once I get done with the full tour, I'm going to go over, like I said, all the details, the price, how you can book it, how you can stay here. But I want to know what room you guys would want to stay in. Like I said, there's eight bedrooms and they're all separately themed to something Star Wars. So let me know in the comments what room you would pick. And like I said, we're going to start off with the first one right over here. Trust me when I say this is only the beginning and it only gets better once we head upstairs and a little spoiler warning you do actually get to go inside this sand crawler but we'll come back to this we'll come back to it right now like I mentioned before we're going to head back over here and we're going to go into the first room which is a exact replica of the Galactic Star Cruiser. Look at this, something very subtle, very, very cool. I love it, I love the bed, I love, I love you, I know. <laughs> Even the TV, the way they have everything boxed in. And this is a nice room, I like this a lot. It's very clean, very fresh, and if you stayed at the Star Cruiser, you guys know exactly this is what it looks like. In all of the rooms, they have a special effect with it being either a motion sensor or a little switch. And I'm going to point them all out to you. And it's cool that they have a Star Cruiser themed room. And then across the hall, we make our way over to a Rise of the Resistance room. Just like you would be on the Star Cruiser voyage going to Batu, And I think that is so awesome. All of the motion sensor lights you can actually shut off if you wanted to, but I, I don't know who would want to do that. I love just walking through here and actually seeing these actually turn on. It's really cool. Look at it. And right over here, we're making our way to the Rise of the Resistance room. And this is really, really awesome. Look at this. I love it so much. It literally makes me feel like I'm on the ride. Look at that. Look at that wall there. 
This is so incredible. I love all the lighting and just the detail in the framework. It's so impressive. It takes a lot to actually come up with things like this. And it's just, it's, <laughs> it's art. It's art. It's art in a home. These are the only two bedrooms on the first floor and they have an arcade. But like I said before, we went from the Galactic Star Cruiser to Rise of the Resistance to Smuggler's Run and the chess room over in the arcade. And I think that is just so cool how everything connects. I would not mind waking up and having all these stormtroopers actually staring at me. <laughs> I think that's so funny. But over here, we're heading back, is the arcade. And like I said, it's a little chess room too. And it's incredibly themed. But take a look at this. I love it so much. There's the chess room, the chess table right there. Look at all of the detail on the walls. And like these are like the little lights and activations I was talking about. You can like turn these on and off. Comes with a lot of great games in here. It's got the world's largest Pac-Man machine. And then even this nice little area comes equipped with the Xbox and the PlayStation. It's a fun little atmosphere here. What do we need garages for? I feel like I should just turn my garage into something like this. I would never want to leave. This is like the perfect little man cave. Pac-Man, PlayStation, this is great. Chewy, Han, I love it. I'm just so impressed on how they themed everything just by covering up like the outlets and putting these little buttons on the electrical panels and then even all of the wiring like even I don't know if this is meant but look at how the uh, piping is blue and red over here I love that and then light speed behind the actual like TVs there so we're in the Millennium Falcon ready to just <laughs> take off I think this is so cool this is such an awesome little garage. Like I said, who needs a garage? I need this. We have to keep moving along because I have a lot to show you still. And now we're in the living room. But one thing I do want to show you real quick is in the kitchen. I mean, the kitchen is a kitchen. It's still really cool. They did add in a lot of Star Wars appliances. But the one thing that I just think is so cool and I'm literally going to Amazon right now for is this toaster. I also appreciate the blue lights on the fridge, but look at this toaster over here. We gotta plug it in. This is really, really amazing. Here we go. <laughs> I can't, I'm not even toasting anything. I just want, I just want the bread. <laughs> this is so amazing. In the dining room, they have this gigantic map of all the different planets and regions. And it's really cool because earlier you might have heard me mention Rebels Retreat, which is the name of the home itself. And they decided to add it to the map right over here. Look at that. So we are here. And you can see they've got all the other different planets all there. And I love it. Also, over here, above the fireplace, look at this. Look at how cool that is. I love it. I love seeing all of it. Like the living space is kind of mutual grounds, just a blend of like, you know, Star Wars fandom. The main theming is in the rooms, but this is actually really cozy. I like it a lot. We're going to head upstairs now, but we'll come back down and I'll show you the inside of the sand crawler. One of the things that I thought was so awesome about this place is probably the staircase. I know that sounds funny because it's just a staircase, but wait till you see what it does. It might have a little effect on the camera because of the lighting, but it is really, really awesome. Most of the activations are motion censored, so that's exactly what's happening here on the staircase. I'm going to try to show you and get close and then pull away. You can see those lights at the top there, but watch what happens when you step on the first step. How cool is that? Look at it. <laughs> I don't know why. It just makes me feel like futuristic, very fancy, and it goes all the way up. And it also works when you're coming down. And then when you get to the top, look at, you get some carbon Han Solo. Look at the lighting on the walls. 
I love it here so much. It is so cool. Don't forget to let me know what your favorite room is or your favorite part of the house. Just type it in the comments below. I love hearing what you guys have to say. And we're going to go around. There's a bunch of rooms up here. There's an awesome like second living room and then a movie theater that makes it feel like you are literally in the Star Wars universe or even having a Star Wars lightsaber duel. I cannot wait to actually show you that. But we're going to hit the rooms first and then take it from there. The first room to the left here is really awesome because it's a gigantic TIE fighter. Look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. These are bunk beds. But it gets better. It gets a lot better because like I mentioned before, they all have like special effects or activations. And if you take a look right here, you can actually shoot the Millennium Falcon as it's taking off. Look at this. It's like you're chasing the Falcon. <laughs> it's like you're chasing the Falcon. And then you got a TV there. I love it. I think it's so cool. Look at that. I literally want a bed like this. I think it's, I think it's perfect. Across the hall from the TIE Fighter bedroom is one of my favorites because I love Ewoks. And look at this. Ah. Oh. How cool is this? It's kind of like you're in a tree house and it's a round bed too. I love all the lighting in here and you can see the Ewoks in the woods amongst the trees. Look at all of this is so cool. I think I would want to sleep in here. <laughs> I love the bed. The bed is just the coolest thing ever. And it's just so amazing. Everything, the detail, I love it so much. I want to just stay here. I want to stay in this room right here. I've never slept in a round bed before, but I'm starting to think maybe I should get one. I have so much room for me and Gracie. Gracie, my dog Gracie, always kicks me off the bed. Like I have this little tiny room, but we would have so much space here and it's really comfortable. I like round beds. We're going to keep moving along and we're going to take you into like the second living room area. And this is such an epic showdown. Look at this. I love it so much. And these, oh, I was just about to say are motion censored. So the lightsabers actually turn on and I'm about to turn around and this is going to be pretty cool. But look at this. What a showdown. This is like the second living room I was talking about. I love it so much. I love the carpet. I love seeing Obi-Wan and Darth Vader. And then the Falcon over here. Look at that. This is so cool. I don't know why I get so excited, but like this is like a second living room. And I love the lighting in here. It's so bright and vibrant. Like I'm really on a ship. All of the bed frames and the artwork is customly made for this house. Some things like I'm sure this Millennium Falcon uh, carpet that I'm standing on you can buy on Amazon. But a lot of this stuff was made just for this house and I think that's really nifty. We've got four more bedrooms to show you. This one over here is kind of going to be a front runner for me for my favorite bedroom. And I can't wait to actually show you guys but it is Cloud City. And look, when you walk on, well, when you walk in, the clouds all light up. Look at this. This is so cool. <laughs> wow. I would lay in bed and just stare at this ceiling all night long. It's so amazing. And it's so, it, like, it has like a, a, like, a, like a feeling like you're actually floating through the clouds. Look at that. This is, <laughs> I, I really do love this a lot. I am now laying down on the bed, looking up. I could easily fall asleep right now, actually. Look, oh, I could so fall asleep right now. This is incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. This is really, really just clever. 
It's gonna be hard for any other room to top this one for me. Mainly just for sleeping purposes. I just wanna lay in the bed and just stare up at that sky, put on some nice sounds in the background, look at the lights and the clouds, and I think I'd be out like that. But a lot of the other rooms are really cool themed and you don't know, maybe I might feel fonder of one of them once I get to spend a little time in it. Also, I, I like touching. <laughs> I like touching it all. Look at that. It's so cool. It's so awesome. All right, we're going to move along. We're going to keep going. I just can't get over everything. I'm sorry, I probably sound like a kid in a candy shop, and I'm like, ooh, wow, wow. But I get excited over the littlest things, and we're going to make our way over to this bedroom here. Take a look at that. A land speeder bed. Look at it. <laughs> that is so cool. And there are so many different details inside this room. Not just the artwork itself, but the flooring too, because they actually made it like a sand texture. And they have like the rugs here, because I'm sure it's not really pleasant to wake up and have your feet on it but like just coming in right now you can feel like the sand and graininess and I think that's so that's like detail that's looking at the detail but how cool is a land speeder bed and also even like the 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 uh, blankets and the pillows they fit perfectly look at this I I think this is just so cool this one's also a really awesome favorite of mine I love all the lighting but wow I'm really impressed with the custom bed frames. I think that's so cool that how they built them. And I think the next two rooms also have custom bed frames in them. So it's gonna be awesome to show you those. And a couple of them have some cool effects too. I think this one, the major effect or cool part about it is probably the flooring. I just, I, I, I pay attention to the littlest things and I noticed that the creator of this house also does the same thing. It looks like they really did their research and I kind of, I appreciate that. The next room is right around the corner here and I just get so excited walking through here and seeing Darth Vader's lightsaber light up there. I can never get tired of seeing this. Like, I love how the murals really make the room look so much bigger than it is. But here's the next room. Look at that. We've got a little AT-AT -AT or AT-AT, whatever you prefer. Little room here, it's a bunk bed too. Ooh, it looks like they're firing too. Look at that. You got C-3PO, R2-D2, <gasps> snow troopers. That's kind of cool. I like that a lot. That's a cool little setup right there. A nice little mural. They ain't no storm troopers. Those are snow troopers. And look at this. A bunk bed you can go up. I'm always the top bunk kind of person. I like the top bunk area. Or you can stay down below. This is a nice little room with nice murals. Nice little effects here too. Yeah, very cool. One more bedroom to go, and then we'll get to the movie theater, head downstairs, I'll show you some of the other amenities, and of course, we'll go into the sand crawler. But I wanted to point out that the upstairs area, you might have thought that's the movie theater. Trust me, it is not. This is what I was talking about. This is not the movie theater. The movie theater is over there, and this is the next bedroom here. I do want to point out this bedroom isn't a hundred percent completed yet. It's about 99% completed, but look at this. Luke Skywalker's X-Wing and look at all of the lighting on the ceiling. This is such a cool thing because you can actually play out while you're sleeping. You can fire and destroy the Death Star right here. This is basically the movie scene recreated in a mo like in a bedroom. But I think this is going to be the Death Star, the Death Star blowing up right there. Isn't that cool? Look at it. This is an X-wing bunk bed, and it's so well put together. Look at it in here. I love it. I'm sorry. I don't have a lot of words to describe things other than like I said, wow, and I love it and I'm excited. I just get giddy over the littlest things. And once again, in case you didn't want all of the lights and the effects, 
everything is just controlled by a little light switch. So if you shut that off, it all turns off and the motion is what kicks it on. So when you walk into a room, it'll just automatically bada bing. I like that. All right, so we've checked out all of the bedrooms. Now we're gonna make our way to the movie theater over here, but I'm gonna go in and set it up because there's a certain scene of a movie I wanna actually watch while sitting in here, and I might be able to show you, as long as there's not a lot of music, but it's pretty awesome. So this is the movie theater and just regular lighting and it's really nice. You got all these nice reclining seats. You've got uh, a Death Star bean bag, a Chewy bean bag, a nice TV. But when you shut the lights off like this and you get it nice and dark, you can actually feel like you're in a lightsaber battle. Look at that! Isn't this crazy? Yo! <laughs> Look at this! I love it so much. I wanted to test it out with something a little bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over it. Tell me this is not the perfect Star Wars movie theater. Look at this! Alright, that was cool. I just wanted to show you guys that. But now I think we're gonna move along. I still loved it so much though. I am definitely watching a lot of movies in there a little bit later on. Now we're going to head back downstairs and I'm going to show you some of the cool things down there and outside maybe to the pool. It's so crazy how I feel like this room doesn't, I feel like this house doesn't look as big as it is on the outside. Oh, remember I was telling you the lights are motion censored? So we're going to do it again. That is so cool. <laughs> the littlest things get me so excited. I feel like <laughs> it's so futuristic, you know? It is, it really is so futuristic. Let's see, outside we got a nice little pool area here. The lighting itself does have a little funny effect though. Nice little pool outside. Screened in, very cool. They keep it really like dark because it really keeps it more immersed like you're actually on another planet not just in florida but once you go outside you're just back in florida so i'd rather stay in here keep the curtains closed Ooh, the sand crawler the fact that i'm about to get down and crawl in here like a jawa is really hysterical i'm sure it's not gonna look flattering but i'm going for it Once you get in here though, it's pretty nifty. I'm just not too sure how long you can stay in here. For the kids, it's the perfect height, but I'm literally on my knees right now. But look at this. It's like you're actually controlling it. The lights, this is so cool. Tons of little switches you can turn on and off. I love it. It's really cool. And then it actually leads right out there and you got a bunch of uh, high chairs and little little seats. I wouldn't be able to sit in one of those, but I'm sure someone or some little kids could. Something else I wanted to point out in the kitchen itself, they have all like Star Wars themed glassware and chinaware. They've got like coffee mugs that say, I like my coffee on the dark side. It's really cool, it's very fitting, you know what I mean? And tons of other stuff over here, other than the toaster oven, but nothing's gonna beat that toaster oven for me. Not even the pressure cooker, or the Millennium Falcon waffle iron, <laughs> or the C-3PO and R2-D2 salt and pepper shakers. There's so many, oh, that poor, that poor toaster oven. Can't really live up to uh, the expectations there. But I do wonder, why they've got this lone Hamilton Beach blender. 
Is there not a Star Wars themed blender out there? I feel like that's a market for somebody, especially if you're in the themed Airbnb business. Now that we've done a full tour, it's starting to get dark outside and I thought it would be cool to take you through the house with the regular lights off and only like the special lights on. And I think it made me appreciate it a little bit more once I did this. So I kind of want to show you just a real quick run through though. Mainly in the upstairs area because I really love it with all the cool red and blue lights. And in here we got the green lights, but take a look through here. I think earlier I had the lights on and I don't think it did justice. Look at it. It looks so starry and spaceshipy. I really can appreciate it a little bit more, especially this room. Look at this. Oh, so cool. Now that I've given you guys the grand tour, what do you think? I love this place. I think it is so cool and it's definitely an awesome little vacation rental to come and stay at while you're visiting the parks. And the best part of it is it's only, well, it's starting off at $500 a night. That's the starting off point. But, I mean, it does sleep 16 guests, 8 bedrooms, 5 bathrooms. I mean, I don't think you can find a better accommodating deal at Disney or any of the theme parks for that price. Especially 8 bedrooms. I mean, a 2 bedroom villa on property will cost you over $1,000 a night. And this one has cool themed unique bedrooms. And it's much cheaper than the Galactic Star Cruiser, which is, I think, $5,000 for two nights. But, I mean, there's more entertainment with the Star Cruiser. There's food and stuff like that included, but it's still kind of cool because they have a Star Cruiser bedroom, a Rise of the Resistance bedroom. My personal favorite is going to be the Cloud City one. I mean, it was just so cool inside there. And overall, I really think this is an awesome Airbnb. But let me know what you guys think. If you're interested, you can look them up at the greatescapevillas.com. I'll also put all of their links in the description. I'll put their link tree and they're on Airbnb and VRBO. They're on all of the different, you know, rental platforms and you can stay here. I'm sure it's going to book up. It's brand new actually. So no one has even stayed here before. This is the first time it's actually being shown. So if you have an upcoming trip and you're looking for a really awesome cool place to stay I'd hop on it quick because I have a feeling it's gonna book up for a while I mean I would stay here I would definitely in fact I just went on a Disneyland trip and I was paying $375 for a like Airbnb it was like an apartment and it was a loft apartment but it was just planned it was just bland it was like three bedrooms this is huge and it's 10 miles away from Walt Disney World so you can't beat it like I said, Cloud City was my favorite, and now I'm gonna settle in for the night. I'm gonna go watch a movie in the awesome theater and just kinda hang out and relax. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye! Also, I don't know if you guys noticed my awesome Roosevelt uh, Bubba Fat shirt. This is the holiday special. This was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I think I got my tag still on it. Look at this. Look at that. Woohoo. Oh, anywho's. Bye.